Okay, now on Samsung's One UI, one of the most requested feature is the application lock. Even today, we don't have an app lock feature on the Galaxy phones, which frustrates a lot of users out there. I know we do have the secure folder application, but that is a separate space inside which we can keep the application, keep the data safe and secure, but that is not an alternative or replacement for the application lock feature. Even the iOS got the app lock on the iOS 26 recently. Some of you guys may argue that you don't really need app lock when you have secure folder but that is not right some people have their own requirements if you have to access any data inside secure folder you have to open that secure folder application and then access it but let's say you want to lock your gallery on your main page then that is not possible. We will have to keep two galleries. One is inside secure folder. The other one is your actual gallery outside the secure folder. Now the app lock will help us lock the applications which are outside of the secure folder. Now the purpose of this video is to show you a small trick to utilize the secure folder as your application lock. Before I show you that, let me request you guys to subscribe to the channel because a lot of you guys who watch my contents have not subscribed to the channel. So go ahead, subscribe and hit the like button. Let's target at least a thousand likes for this video. Now let's dive in. Let's say I have got the gallery application here and I want to lock this. Now by default, this is not possible, but we can use the secure folder for this. Let's open the secure folder application. Now here I have got the gallery application. Now what I'll do is I will press and hold on the gallery and I will add this application to home screen. Yes, we can add any applications inside the secure folder onto your home screen. Let me tap on add here. Now this gallery which is inside the secure folder is available on my home screen. Now whenever I want to open the gallery application, it will ask the password. Likewise, you can see I have got a few more applications here uh, which are locked, which are from the secure folder. I can tap on this. It will ask me to add the password or fingerprint that you have set. So that is the first step that you can do. Now, of course, we do have the regular gallery also on our home screen inside which we have got different files. Now, what you can do is you can transfer all these items from the gallery into the secure folder by just opening up the gallery, select all the items here, tap on the three dot button and move to secure folder. Whenever you add or download the images into your gallery, you can quickly go there and transfer everything to the secure folder and have it accessible right here on the home screen with password protection. That is something we can do. And now what do we do with this gallery application? Of course, we can hide it or we can still keep that gallery application accessible quickly without that application icon being visible on your app tray. Let me show you the trick here. Now we've got the gallery application right here at the bottom. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and hide this gallery application. Let's go to the home screen settings and hide apps on home screen. Let's search for gallery and I will select it, tap on done. Now you can see the gallery has disappeared. And when I search for that on the app tray, the gallery is still not available. Now you may be thinking this is a bad idea because you will have to go to the settings and unhide the applications to access that particular hidden application. In this case, it's gallery. But here the loophole is when you have hidden the gallery, it can still be available on your edge panel. So what you do is go to the edge panel and you can tap on edit and add the gallery application. I have already added it here. And now whenever I open the edge panel, the gallery will show up on the edge panel. Now, even though you have hidden the application, we still have gallery showing up on the edge panel. Now, this is actually not right. It is not supposed to show up here, but it does show up here. So what you can do is you can hide the edge panel. For that, go to the settings and search for edge panel. Go to the edge panel settings. And here tap on handle. You can see I have set the transparency of the handle to high and you can adjust the size as well. Now, since I've set the transparency to high, the edge panel is not even visible anywhere. Now, anybody having an access to your phone will not know that there is an edge panel. Only you will know that you can open the edge panel and access the gallery right from here and move everything from here to the secure folder gallery and access that gallery from the home screen with the password protection. Now, this is just a workaround. It may not be perfect, but if you have any other suggestion, do let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. Now, this is just one example I have given for the gallery. You can add any applications to secure folder and add them back to the home screen and completely lock it. And even if somebody has got the fingerprint of your phone or password of your phone, they will not be able to unlock these applications if you have set a separate passcode or a separate fingerprint for the secure folder. So you need to make sure you go into the secure folder and then tap on the three dot button, tap on settings 
and here secure folder lock and biometrics and set a separate pin or a separate fingerprint for secure folder. Now let me just show you this. Now I'm using the left thumb for unlocking the phone. And if I use the same thumb to unlock the application here, you can see it doesn't unlock the phone at all. That's because I have set a separate password or let's say fingerprint for secure folder here. I'll be able to unlock it by using my other finger as you can see so that's how you can do that so make sure you set a separate fingerprint and password for your secure folder now this is something which i wanted to share with you guys let me know what do you think drop a comment and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application volvers go ahead download it and please do rate the application five star on play store that helps me to keep coming up with more and more wallpapers and collections for you guys go ahead rate the application five star we are adding a brand new feature the auto wallpaper changer is coming on the volvos application stay tuned for that the update is already submitted to google you will be getting it very very soon that's about it thanks for watching hope you have already hit the like button you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye